this is the first time two undisputed champions will fight each other. And so is, is it, you, you, you always talk about making history and leaving a legacy. Is that one of the main reasons why you wanted this fight? No, I, I never th think about it. I never think about it. I just, I just uh, they say yeah, the other Charlo don't, don't, is not ready, but they, 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 okay. they want the other Charlo, no? Yeah. And I say, okay, bring whatever. I don't care. Right. And so maybe if, if you beat one, then the other will get mad, then he'll want to fight you next. That's something that could happen. Yeah, maybe. Why not? <laughs> Yeah. can happen, yes. And there you guys heard it. There you guys have it. There is Canelo Alvarez stating that he didn't care which Can which Charlo that he fought. He said they. So I'm assuming uh, that was Charlo's handlers. One wasn't ready, which was Jamal Charlo. Um, so Jamal Charlo was ready, so he decided to fight him. And... The next question, of course, was, well, if you beat one, will you fight the other one? He was like, well, yeah, why not? So that just shows you that that wasn't even in play for Canelo. You, the way he responded, he was pretty much dumbfounded to the fact that, dude, I don't I don't know. I mean, I wanted to fight one. Shit, they look just alike to me. <laughs> right? So, yeah, Charlo, you know, I've signed this deal with PBC, so one wasn't ready and the other one was. So let me counterpunch, okay? Uh, Jamal Charlo not being ready for that fight, it just shows you that, you know, they're in cahoots. Because Jamal Charlo was a guy that's like, hey, I have a signed uh, contract that I fight Canelo when, if he beats my brother or when he beats my brother. So, you know, I'm thinking that this is probably the first time that Jamal probably hopes that Canelo beats Jamal so he can, you know, try to avenge the loss to save the day, so to speak. You know, being the undefeated bigger brother, quote unquote, even though they're twins, they're like, I don't know, seconds apart, which is kind of stupid. But, you know, uh, that's how it is. Right. Competition's real. But um, no, every this whole thing about, you know, Canelo wanting to fight the other, you know, the smaller guy and you know, cherry picking the other fighter because he's smaller. <clears throat> That's just malarkey because if Canelo would have beat Jamal Charlo, the first thing they would have said was, well, he's been out of the ring for two years. What the fuck else would you expect? Now that he's fighting Jamal, oh, well, he's too small. Okay, well, um, it's going to be something with Canelo Alvarez. People are going to hate on that man, whatever he does. Now, should he have fought David Benavidez? Should David Benavidez be the last guy? He should be the prize? Yes, he should. If he doesn't, would I be disappointed? Yes, I would. Why? Because I know why he's not fighting him. He knows that that's one tough mother sucker, and he knows there's a good chance that he might get beat up at his age and at his performance level at the time. There's nothing more, nothing less. Of course, please subscribe, and you guys been counterpunched.